Today we're making sweet and sour Coca-Cola braised brisket. Hi everyone, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. Today we're making a sweet and sour Coca-Cola braised brisket. Brisket is an inexpensive cut of meat. A lot of people are intimidated by it because it tends to be dry and chewy, but when you braise it properly, it is soft and succulent and delicious. This 1950s inspired recipe features Coca-Cola, which was such a big trend at the time. It really helps to break down the meat and add a beautiful caramelization and sweetness to this sweet and sour brisket. This video is part of a 1950s collaboration with some of my YouTube friends. My friend Molly from Molly Makes does some really incredible bakes, cakes, and sweet recipes. Today, she's making a baked Alaska. I can't wait to see what that looks like. We've got Jim from Jim's Kitch Kitchen, and he does really interesting twists on classic recipes. He'll be making bologna cups. Wow. And then we have Lorelei from Cakes with Lorelei, and she does some spectacular cakes. Today, she's done a 50s inspired cake. And then we have Julie and Lucy from Brit Girls Gone Stateside. They've done the opposite of me. They've moved from the UK to America and they're doing a little chat on 50s pop culture. One, two, three. Ooh. And then we have Jessie from Fifth and Overland and she's going to be doing some predictions on what we'll be making next. Be sure to check out all of these channels. Their links are in the description below. See the description below for a list of ingredients. Now for the most important part of my recipe, the brisket. I'm heading to my local butcher to pick it up now. Here I have a three kilogram untrimmed brisket that I've asked for the bones to be removed. You'll want to cut your onion into fairly fine half moon pieces. Next, chop your celery and now chop your carrots into manageable size pieces. I like to do them on an angle. It gives them a little bit more surface area. And then smash the skins off of your garlic. And that's your vegetable preparation done. I'm going to season my brisket with salt and pepper. Don't worry about over seasoning. It's really difficult to over season a brisket. And some nice freshly cracked black pepper. I'm just going to pat that in a little bit and then we're going to put it into a hot pan. We're going to start our brisket fat side down. And now while it's flipped, you can season this side with your salt and pepper. You'll cook this for about four minutes per side until you've got some nice caramelization on it. And then straight into our pan go our onions. And we're just going to saute these until they start to wilt and get a little bit brown on the edges. Now that the onions have started to soften, I'm adding a quarter cup of brown sugar. This will really bring out the sweetness. Now that our onions have taken on some of that color, we're going to add the rest of our chopped vegetables. Now I'm adding two tablespoons of tomato paste, and I'm just going to let that cook out briefly. And now I'm adding two tablespoons of flour just to thicken up our sauce. If you want to keep this kosher, you'll want to use potato starch instead of flour. Now we add two cups of red wine and we're just going to scrape all of the bits that have stuck onto the bottom of our pan. We're going to add one can of chopped tomatoes, half a cup of ketchup, a bunch of sprigs of thyme for extra flavor, a tablespoon of sweet paprika and four bay leaves. Give that a good stir, get it all combined. And now for the star ingredient, our Coca-Cola. That Coca-Cola is going to add so much caramelization and flavor to this. And just to amp up that sweet and sour a little bit more, we're adding two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and two tablespoons of honey. Now it's time to nestle our brisket back into our braising liquid. We're going to cover it with a layer of parchment paper and then tuck in all of the sides with aluminum foil, then into the oven for four hours at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Later that same evening. 
After four hours of braising, I took the brisket out of the oven and let it sit for one hour. We're going to carefully move our brisket into another container and we're going to pour our sauce off into a jug. Try not to make too much of a mess. In the fridge overnight to allow for easier slicing of our brisket and for all of the fat to separate from our sauce so we don't have a greasy sauce afterwards. The next day. Our gorgeous brisket has rested in the fridge overnight and we're ready to slice it up. You can see our fat on our braising liquid has solidified and come up to the top. So we're just going to take that off so that our sauce doesn't get all greasy and fatty. If you've got any sprigs of thyme or you come across any bay leaves, you can pull those out as well. We're just going to cut our brisket into thin slices, about a centimeter thick. We're cutting against the grain of the meat. That allows for a really tender bite. We're going to spoon some of our braising liquid into our casserole dish. And now we'll just nestle in our pieces of brisket. A little more of that liquid on top. Now back into the oven for 45 minutes to an hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. tender it just falls apart in your mouth and the hit of the sweet and the sour in there with that coca-cola you don't know there's coke in it but there's that little hmm I wonder what that could be underneath the sauce really beautiful and it goes amazing with my potato kugel recipe this is such an easy dish to make ahead and have ready for dinner whenever you need it and it may be 50s inspired but it's perfect in any decade Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And be sure to check out the other videos in this playlist. See you next time.